Well, welcome back to the big time, kid. Yeah, I can't believe the Olympics is over already, but seeing you, I guess it is. Uh, let's get this straight. Bob Cole was at Les Mis last night. Mis. Harry was here at the figure skating, and I was at a banquet in Hamilton. Uh, what'd you do for a Friday night excitement? I was now watching three hockey games uh, with five X by my side, and I'll tell you, by the time the San Jose game was over with, I was having a lot of fun. You had a little uh, good time watching hockey, and I'm not Better surprised you got 5x uh, the way you uh, spend Friday nights. What about that game, San Jose-Montreal? 3-3 tie with seven-tenths of a second left for the Sharks. Let me tell you something. They've got a new kid in there, Dion. I love this kid. Uh, we got a couple of goals coming up. Because it was late at night, I want to show a kid that they've got a gym in. Can we, uh, we run that, Mark? Just throw, it, just throw it over here so we can take it. Watch this move he makes in front is unbelievable. Dennis, was, he, Dennis throws it out in front. Now watch him give the little shake. Oh, you don't see that anymore. Now watch him flying in on this one. Marcel said he's not as good as him. I don't know. Now watch him get that stick down, just touch it. And he's an endangered species too. I don't him. know why Marcel said that. He's no Juan Valjean, but. Uh, uh, Val Valjean, no, I'll tell you one thing. I don't know, uh, he's an endangered species. You know, you know what I mean by that? Uh, he's yes, a, Fr I know yeah, what you mean a French, yeah, a French kid coming, a young French kid coming up with no visor. Like that kid, he's going to be a dandy. Well, that is a bad thing. I'll agree with you on that point. What about the silver medal for Canada at the Olympics? Got to be proud of them, every one of them. Kids over there uh, give their all heart, Canadian heart, playing against the older men. Guys over there, some of them they couldn't make the American Hockey League, gave all their uh, four years, some of them like that. Burke was good, Lindros was good. Uh, Dave King and the coach did a good coaching job. But wait till we get those Russians. At, they're little wee guys. Murder them, Canada Cup. Although Kravchuk looks terrific. Uh, Kravchuk looks all right. Tell me about up. Dave King. Calgary's in a lot of trouble, and I don't know what Doug Risebrow's thinking, but a lot of people seem to feel King will be the Calgary Flames man. Would you go if he has the chance now and risk missing the playoffs, go now, be the hero as they make the playoffs, or would you wait till June? What would you this do? Is, well, what I do? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd go for it, but who says... Not that you'd get that offer. No, but, but who says he was asked? That's, this is very unfair to Riseboro with his players here in Dave King. I'm, I'm but sure. But it makes sense. He lives yeah, in Calgary. Yeah, I know. He, he know must be so embarrassing well. to him, and it's tough on Riseboro here and all that stuff. I'm, I know Bill Hayes is a good friend of King's, but there's no way he would talk to him behind Riseboro's back, so it doesn't make any difference. My advice to him is stay with the Olympics for a while. Don't get out in the jungle. He's making 150 grand. Not too shabby, 150 grand, no pressure every four years. Take the world. Uh, but I think he's ready. Three no, Olympics. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You get into that jungle and you don't produce, you're gone. And then what is he going to do? Stay in it, keep the 150 grand for another four years. Really? You think that? Yeah. Sean Burke, what's going to happen with Sean? Sean should be traded. Uh, New Jersey has got a good shot at the, the cup. He should be traded before the deadline, get another centerman down there, because New Jersey's got a good shot at the Cup. I can't see them wait until uh, the summer with him. Eric Lindros? Eric Lindros. Now, let me tell you this right now. Uh, he should wait till the summer again. The, the, the good teams are going for the, the Stanley Cup like Chicago and that. They're not going to give up three players for him now, because there's 10 teams in the league. The good teams are not going to wreck their team uh, going for the Cup. The bad teams don't have anybody to give for him. So I would wait. I hope, I hope they listen to me this time. If you remember the very first game, I said, trade him after the Canada Cup because he was at his highest value then for sure. And, you, and they didn't pay any attention to me. And I said, uh, Quebec's, no. Quebec's got a lousy team. I said that. Your exact words, I wrote them down. I think he's wrong. I think they have, a th oh, off base, I think you said. You said, this was your words, they have a good Let's up see and, it. Up and come. Well, you don't have it, do you? No, but uh, I'll I, show it I to might you. have it on tape. Next time we'll show it. They've got a great young up-and-coming team. Like For crying that. out loud. What, what about this game, Don? We only this got a game here, the Toronto Maple Leafs are winning one nothing. but some of those big stiffs in that dressing room should be ashamed of themselves, letting Wendell take the whole bloody uh, Chicago team on, 5'10", 185 pounds. I'm going to lose 20 pounds and make a comeback and help him. Well, 25 pounds. For heaven's sakes, get out and help the guy. I should have stayed in France. I'd have heard you over there. Uh, just looking at all the posters in around the rink, I think most people feel you'd do better with Joe Clark. But in any event, Don Cherry and the coaches him out too. on Boston Hockey Night in Canada on CBC.